Ooh, ooh, baby, we're back. Before we get into today's story, I need to give a little bit of a backstory. I work at this summer camp. It's a Christian summer camp, and during the time of the story, I didn't work there. I went there as a camper. Now to get into the juicy part. So as older campers, we stay there for two weeks instead of one, and uh, during those two weeks, it's very easy to grow close with your fellow campmates. Close, uh, romantically. Now this is not a story about how I grew close to someone romantically, because surprisingly, I did it. But it was in fact another girl that, uh, developed a crush on one of the guy people. Now this girl, a little, a little off, off her ways, you know. I, I don't want to knock her or anything, but she didn't seem like the, the most socially aware person I'd ever encountered, you know. So she hangs on the sky, <laughs> quite literally, uh, almost the entire two weeks. Uh, she never leaves his side. Um, she uh, constantly asks him for piggyback rides and stuff like that, and uh, you know this guy's this guy's kind of beefy. You know he can he can handle it, but she's like really small, so like any guy could handle it. But uh, I I don't know he put up with it. I don't know I don't think he liked her back at all. Uh, but I think he put up with it, which <laughs> might have been a mistake <laughs> in hindsight. But anyways, this story does not partake during the actual session all right everything goes fine there K kind of i mean there was some kids who did actually steal some things from there but <laughs> that's a whole nother story but anyways the real beefy part happens after the camp when we all get our you know get our socials and make a group chat and all that you know kind of reflect on on camp you know it was a it was a fun time i mean and i still talk to people from that from that session to this day now we're in this group chat and it's in that stage of group chats where like some people are still talking in it but it's like three people and they're just talking to themselves and like half the people don't even open it the other half swipe, swipe in and out and you know it's in that stage you know that that late week stage so it's late at night i don't even remember what the conversation was but i remember i was talking to some people in the group chat like directly you know i wasn't talking to them in the group chat i was just having conversations with them outside of the group chat and then i get um a snap a picture snap from the group chat from this girl and I'm like that's weird because there's not many picture snaps in this group chat you know it's all text it's all snaps I'm like blue snaps so I'm like hmm, that's weird but then I also noticed that she was typed she typed afterwards so I was like might as well read the caption before I open the picture and uh, I just want to precurse this Everybody from that session, man and woman, about 25 people are in this group chat. And I was the first one to see the snap. And so I swipe in, and the text reads... Now it says the name of the guy she was clinging on, so I'm just gonna call him Jerry. The text reads, I can be bad too, Jerry. And I'm thinking, oh god, what'd she send? Like, uh, you know, one of those mom pictures where she's like, you know, smile. Oh god damn it, fuck me. Oh fuck, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? I did it again. <clears throat> Daddy has come to the rescue. Alrighty then, back to the story. Take any, take any one of your friend's hot moms and look at their Facebook profile picture, and that's that's basically what I was expecting from. I can be bad too, Jerry. But oh ho ho, was I in for a shock 
when I opened a picture sent by this girl to an entire group of people, men and women, from a Jesus camp. It was her tits. And I first saw this image, I was sitting in my chair, and I <laughs> immediately clicked out of it, and I was like... I was speechless. I had no idea how to react to that, because that's just so out. Who does that? Who in their right mind would send a picture of their tits to a group chat, let alone a group chat with men and women, let alone a men and women group chat for a Jesus camp? I just cannot fathom that. So I was sitting there, I was, and I started, I just started cracking up. And, and the person I was talking to in that group chat, I'm like, please, please don't open the group chat. Please, you don't, you don't want to open it. Please don't open it. And then she slides in and she was like, oh, fuck me. I already opened it. And I'm just sitting there laughing my ass off. And I'm just like leaning back in my chair like what? And then I fall out of my chair. I fall I fall out of my chair and I hit the ground and my mom walks in and she asks me what happened. <laughs> so so I say this girl sent her tits to a church group chat. <laughs> and she just shook her head at me and called me stupid. I don't think she believes that that actually happened. But oh my god, was that the most stunning and one of the, one of the funniest memories I have about this camp. And I cannot even begin to feel for the girl who sent that and I if you're watching this and you know anything about that and you or if you are that girl you know who you are why I I am just perplexed but uh <laughs> yeah, I I'm gonna have to leave it there so I'll let this one run and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day and uh, I'll see you soon bye bye Stupid middle birds that get me. Get